Welcome, I want to show you one approach in using a macro to insert multiple rows at the same location across all the worksheets in a workbook. You can already insert rows simultaneously by grouping sheets as we can do here. However, if you need to insert a large number of rows, then it is a bit more unwieldy and will require you to scroll down the page and then select the quantity of rows you want to insert. Go into Visual Basic for Applications and insert a module. Option Explicit will force us to declare all the relevant variables for a macro any undeclared variable name will trigger an error at compile time. Notating your macro will always improve everyone's understanding of your code if you or someone else needs to come back at a later date to review it. We will call a macro insert rows sheets. It is prudent to disable the following three Excel properties before running the macro. Remember to declare the macro's object variables as this will ensure the macro runs smoothly and with no compile errors. Next we want to state our active row, which we will use to insert the rows in the same place across all worksheets. We also want to save the location of the active sheet. It is wise to reference this workbook so as to prevent any runtime errors in the event you have more than one workbook open whilst you are running the macro. The input box will dictate the number of rows which we will insert across all our worksheets.
It is imperative this part of the macro code is accurate, otherwise you will get an error prompt in VBA editor or the macro won't run correctly. An error handler is another element of code which is advisable because it will help to protect the macro from erroneous input values from users. As notated, the loop will enable a macro to insert the same number of rows into each worksheet in the active workbook. Once the macro has cycled through the sheets, we want to move the cursor back to the initial worksheet in cell address A1. The macro is complete. We can now re-enable those three Excel properties. Let's review our macro before we test it on the worksheets. We will now run the macro. As we can see, the macro has successfully inserted six rows into each worksheet in the active workbook. 